All right, guys, another day, another vlog. Um, Tim just left for work here like 10 minutes ago. I was in putting her laundry away, getting her room all cleaned up. Um, show you guys real quick. Um, so, I mean, it's not like clean, but it's not dirty, right? Got her bed all made up, got her closet kind of weeded out of Christmas, except for these two dresses, I just, this one here is going to end up getting moved over there because these are all of her, like, special dresses. Um, you know, we wore this for pictures, she wore this for the wedding and for her pageant, and this was Easter last year, this was pictures and Christmas, and then this is going to be Easter for this year, but... I just kind of cleaned it out a little bit, organized a little bit more. There's a pile of clothes here that are, they're 18 months, but they're too small for her. Um, a lot of them are sweaters, and they're horrible because they're like crop top type sweaters. And I'm like, for an 18 month old child, really? Make them longer. Like, Ella doesn't have a really long torso, but these are just so short that anytime she lifts up her arms, half of her belly is showing. So, I'm just like, really, like, make it more child appropriate. Like, this is currently going. It's a 3D print. This guy got a hold of me on Etsy last night and asked if we could make a 10 inch tall, seven inch diameter cylinder. And we we're like, yeah, you know, we could do it. And he ended up wanting it, I guess it's for his speaker to sit up on. Um, and he said that he got a sample that the guy, I don't know who sent it to him or who did it, but the guy like printed four smaller sections and like glued them together. There's just hot or super glue just all over it. Um, just, he said, he sent me pictures and it, it looks, it looks rough. It looks a mess. Um, but the sunroom. <laughs> so this birdhouse doesn't actually go here. It's supposed to go on the other side, but since we have it up against the wall, um, we just have it there for now. I don't know if we're going to end up putting the fence on it right now. The piece, you know, that goes like here. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually put that on right now. Or if we're going to wait till we move it outside. But we got it all finished last night. I love it. Um, I think this is great. It's like a little roof for their porch. Um, I just think it's really cute. But yeah, so it only took, I think two hours to assemble even though it said it was going to take like four hours um it didn't take that long at all um i still have to pick up all of the screws that they gave us so many extra screws like okay i guess it's not really not that many extra but like you got all of these and everything that there's a lot in there yet um and then we even got a screw that didn't have any threads on it so you know that's cool um but yeah so we got all of those that i gotta get packed up and put away um we moved the futon here and then i'm gonna have to help her and get that in here because i guess she wants it in here hey that's my ring light please don't throw that hey guys welcome back to my channel so Ella and I just got home. Um, we didn't leave here until late. It's 7.30 right now, so <clears throat> it's been crazy, crazy. I left here about 3 o'clock, so it's been a couple of hours. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, I made a couple of decals last night. Um, I wanted to show you guys that before I got into anything else that is up here. But I made a tea label. It's kind of hard to tell because of the glare. There you can kind of see it. But it says tea. This one says sugar. You guys can see it better because it's got the white from the sugar. But we've got the sugar. 
I made one for brown sugar and that's out there. And then I have one for flour, but I don't have a flour container yet. Um, and I'm going to be making one probably for the mini marshmallows as well as like the baking soda and stuff like that. So I just think they're really cute. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, I think I'm going to list the entire set up here in a few weeks on Etsy, but I got an Amazon package today. So I came across a really cute um, SVG and I sent a picture of it to my friend and she's like, yes, I need that. Like, give it to me. Um, so she ended up ordering a onesie in six to nine months and a onesie in zero to three months. Um, one for her daughter and one for her friend who is due relatively soon, I think. Um, so I ended up having to go on Amazon and order onesies because back when I got these stuff from Michaels, I thought they were onesies, but apparently I just need to learn to read better because they were not onesies, they were slip-on shirts. So, she didn't want shirts, she wanted bodysuits. That's completely fine. I had no issues with ordering it because, you know, that was my screw up, not anything that she did, obviously. Um, so I had to order a pack. Um, it's a five pack of bodysuits. They are Gerber brand. Um, I will be getting more in. Um, like right now I only have zero to three and then six to nine. Um, but I do plan to get some 3 to 6 and 12 months in as well. I just have to wait for more Etsy money to hit because I'm broke. <laughs> um, I end up putting way more into my business than I seem to get. But that's okay. I know I'm just like kind of starting and everything like that. But yeah, so I just got a 5 pack of plain white zero to three and then also a pack of i believe five yeah a pack of five of six to nine month gerber onesies so i have a couple of onesies that i need to get made here in the next couple of days but she also ordered dog tags um, and I had to order more molds for those. And those won't be here until, I think it said it was arriving Saturday. So, um, I think I'm just going to wait until then to get everything made. The dog tags are going to take three days each. Uh, just because of how she wants them. No issues. I have no problems doing that for her because she is a really close friend. Um, and, yeah. So, I have this that I got for Tim. Um, I know I say I'm broke and then I go and get him more stuff. Um, that's why I'm broke. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, anyways, I got this Milwaukee um, screwdriver. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six bits, seven bits. Um, it's just a mini screwdriver. He sent me in to get this one because he wanted this one. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> I ended up getting him the wrong one. <sighs> Dang it. And then I also got him another one of these. I got him one for Christmas. But I got him one of those because he is always losing his other one that I bought him. So I just let him know that I ended up accidentally getting the wrong screwdriver. Anyway. Then I got these like fake, they're called buddy bars, but they're fake nutter butters, um, and Swiss rolls at Dollar Tree, and four boxes of tissues, because you know the girl needs her tissues, 
always. So I got tissues. And then in this bag, there's all kinds of goodies. So Ella wanted this pack of bubbles. I already gave her one and she already spilt it all over the place, but she wanted the pack of bubbles. Got some more cups um, for me to put in the bathroom with my pregnancy test, ovulation test station. Picked her up some juice because she had run out while we were out a six pack of shower caps for whenever I dye my hair and whenever Tim does phone screens or something like that. Um, and then I picked up four of these baskets. So there's two of the blue and two of the pink um, little Easter baskets with handles. Um, I'm gonna customize them and list them up on Etsy. So that's everything. There's not as many goodies as I thought there were, but Anyways, so yeah, that's everything that I got while I was out. But I'm gonna get that stuff put away, and then I main reason I went up is for my meds um, because I did start my cycle. It is cycle day three. I needed my meds, so I had to get those. And since it's so late, I don't even know if I'm gonna be vlogging anymore because Tim is on his way home. Um, but yeah. So if not, then this will probably be mashed up into tomorrow's video as well.